Good morning and welcome to St. Charles. There are a few announcements before we start Mass today. Each year at St. Charles, uh, we participate in the Mission Appeal to help missions across the world. Next weekend will be a second collection. It will be taken to promote the work of the missions. Our next community meal will be September 28th. If you can cook or bake, please contact the parish office. Our monthly night of praise will resume this Sunday, September 10th, from 6 to 7 p.m. All are welcome. Following the night of praise, there will be a young adult social at Chili's. Parishioners in their 20s and 30s are invited to join us for food and fellowship. Finally, youth ministry will have an outing at Sports World next Saturday, September 16th. All teens grades 8 through 12 are welcome. Please RSVP to the Youth Ministry Office for more information. Let us offer together our prayer for a better understanding of true, true stewardship in our lives and here in our parish. Lord God, you alone are the source of every good gift, of the vast array of our universe and the mystery of each human life. We praise you and we thank you for your great power and your tender, faithful love. Everything we are and everything we have is your gift. And after having created us, you have given us into the keeping of your Son, Jesus Christ. In the name and spirit of Jesus, we commit ourselves to be good stewards of the gifts entrusted to us, to share our time, our talent, our material gifts as an outward sign of the treasure we hold in Jesus. Amen. Our presider for this morning's Mass will be Monsignor Zura. Please stand and join us singing number 621, Rain Down, number 621. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Monsignor. For a few moments, I invite the congregation to please be seated. Good morning. I'm Ann Kravitz, and I'm representing the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Go to the poor, and you will find God. Those are the words of St. Vincent de Paul, and I am here as a member of the St. Vincent de Paul Conference of St. Charles, which has been in existence for 75 years. Our conference is one of 13 parish conferences comprising the Mahoning County District, who assist not only those in need with their own parishes, but also work together to serve the greater community, especially where the need is greater. Our dining hall in downtown Youngstown serves 250 hot, healthy meals a day. That's over 5,000 a month, prepared and served with love. All are welcome. Our food pantry provides an average of 110 guests a day with generous food boxes, plus diapers, toiletries, and other essentials. This has been made possible by the support of parish conferences, food drives, donations, and fundraisers. However, our costs have steadily increased, as you can imagine, and the number of guests we serve continues to rise. In order to sustain our mission, we need to create income. Today, we are launching our Hear the Cry of the Poor campaign to raise money to open the St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store and Donation Center here in Boardman, immediately behind St. Charles and next to former Joanne Fabrics. This 1,600 square foot store will be a total retail shopping experience. Furniture, clothing, household goods, toys, etc. It will be a perfect place for those who like to thrift, who are looking for the hidden bargain. Most importantly, it will enable us to provide affordable options for those who have suffered loss, are in re-entry programs, or who are transitioning from being homeless to having a home. Again, all profits go to our dining hall and food pantry. St. Vincent de Paul has never had a capital raise, and we are only doing so at this time because starting a business has many costs. The goal of the Hear the Cry of the Poor campaign is to raise $250,000 to get our store up running and turn in a profit that will go directly to those we serve. We have no investors, no venture capitalists. We only have you. We need you and are hoping that you will make a donation. We have information in the gathering space on how to do this and we'll be glad to answer questions. While monetary donations are absolutely necessary, Equally important are your prayers and your help in spreading the word that the St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store and Donation Center is coming to Boardman. So please consider cleaning out that garage, basement, or closet, because we will begin accepting your donations soon. Your stuff will keep our store filled. In last week's bulletin, Monsignor Zara wrote, we are living in an opportune time, in a time for stillness, silence, and prayer, a time for compassion, mission, and action. That is what this project is about. Please take a moment to consider what you can do to make this happen. Thank you. Let us stand. I think each and every one of us will agree that St. Vincent de Paul does remarkable work for those who truly need our assistance. So I ask that each and every one of us considers a gift towards this endeavor, to make this endeavor not only a reality, but a force here in our geographical area. 
This morning, our sacred scripture readings center on conflict and how we resolve conflict. Do we nurse the conflict? Do we rehearse the conflict? Or do we release the conflict? Mindful of our sinfulness this day, we seek our God's pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. To God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. In time, I invite our children of the parish to please come forward if they choose to participate in the children's liturgy of the word. And let us pray. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption. Look graciously upon your beloved daughters and sons, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And may Almighty God bless you as you listen to God's Word, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. There you go. Okay, thank you. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, 
You, son of man, I have appointed watchman for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt. But I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn away from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, our Let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though I'd seen my works. If today you hear his voice, Harden not your heart. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be are summed up in this saying, Namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have one over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we were praying the universal prayer during Mass at St. Luke last weekend, one of the petitions said this, for all those who give scandal through their words or actions, may the Holy Spirit make them aware of the consequences of their decisions. But it got me to thinking, how will the Spirit make others aware of those consequences if not through us? And today, both the first reading and the gospel make us aware of our responsibilities to speak out. Way back in the book of Genesis, when God asked Cain where his brother was, Cain answered, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? The inference in Cain's response was that he was not responsible for his brother. How about us? Many of us have said things like, it's none of my business what others do or don't do. Live and let live. It doesn't concern me. Why should I get involved? Well, we might say such things, but in today's first reading, God is saying to us, just as he said to Ezekiel, I have appointed you watchmen for the house of Israel if you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, I will hold you responsible. And Jesus says in the gospel, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. Both statements seem to be clear mandates for us. And yet, how difficult is it for us to confront others about their behavior. It's very hard. We would rather not take the risk, or we would rather complain, accuse, and judge others while remaining, si remaining silent. And most of us often do just that, myself included. 
It's not easy at all to confront others about what we perceive as their failures, even if we've been hurt or betrayed by them. What would make it easier? Well, perhaps if we could come to a better recognition of our own brokenness and lack of love toward others, then we may find it easier to deal with the brokenness and lack of love in someone else. How do we do that? Well, there is the sacrament of reconciliation. The bottom line is that being a Christian is not a private and purely personal affair. It's a corporate affair. We are responsible for one another. What you do affects me. What I do affects you. And whatever we do as church affects the entire world. Today's readings are very challenging to listen to, but we're not without help to meet the challenge. Jesus tells us in the gospel that he will be with us to help us. He says, wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Turning a blind eye to the faults of others is not loving them. Turning a blind eye to our own faults is not loving ourselves. So here we are this morning gathered in Jesus' name. And Jesus is here with us. And if we believe in his presence with us, and if we feel his presence with us, there has to be a response to that presence. What will our response be? St. Paul said in the second letter that if we respond with love, then we have fulfilled the law. But don't worry about fulfilling the law. Let's try instead to fulfill the Beatitudes. Let's try to fulfill our Christian responsibilities to love and care for one another. 2,000 years ago, the sense of mutual responsibility and the need for fraternal correction was easily understood and accepted. The Christian community then was central to people's lives and people were invested and committed to their communities. Not that we aren't, but today cultural values have changed and we are more concerned about ourselves and not involving ourselves in other people's business. In the gospel, Jesus said to his disciples, amen I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And once again today, we are the disciples that Jesus is saying that to. But understand this, binding something on earth was never meant to be about punishment, but about reconciliation among the members of God's people. When Jesus spoke of binding and loosing, he appeared to be saying that his own heavenly authority to call for righteous living among his followers had been extended to his people, the church. And we, all of us, are the church. We are responsible for one another. Remember this though, the ultimate goal in every situation must be for grace and reconciliation among the members of the body of Christ. Amen. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, 
the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge in baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Let us present to the Lord our God our prayers of need. For the church and all believers, may Jesus Christ reign in word and deed, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working for justice, fairness, and peace in the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are lost or hurting, may the peace and compassion of Christ guide them to spiritual and physical healing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us gathered here, may the Eucharist nourish our souls with the love of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Miriam Scavelli, whom we remember in this Mass, and for Stephen Liptak, who was buried this week, may all the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jason Laskowski, who, in whose memory the sanctuary lamp is lit this week, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs we hold within our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In our Christian charity, we pray for the repose of the soul of Nancy Fetch, whose mass of Christian burial will be offered Wednesday at 11 a.m. We pray for her soul and for the comfort of her family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and loving God, we present you this day our prayers of need. Hear and answer them according to your will. We make our prayer through Christ the Lord. Amen. I invite our children at this time to bring forth their offertory. Turn your offertory. Please join in singing number 405, There is a Longing. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
himself to Thank you very much. There is a Thank you. In our hearts for Thank you. We only find in you our God. For healing, for wholeness, for new life, hear our prayer. In sickness, in death, be near, hear our prayer, O oh God. There is a longing in our hearts, O oh Lord, for you to reveal yourself to Thank you very much. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of God's name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who has given us the gift of prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may be fitting homage to your divine ministry. And by partaking in this sacred mystery, may we be faithful and united of mind and heart through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the gifts of the Spirit through whom you raised Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. Now with the saints and angels, we praise you as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this mystery. 
On the day before he was to be betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, he said the blessing, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, and giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that by the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all who minister within your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy may we be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Oh, 
sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ. Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ, the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Body of Christ, 
May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ. Christ. Body of 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 Christ. Of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. What do we have? Body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Let's pray. Thank you. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you have nourished and endowed with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may we benefit from your beloved Son's great gift, that we will merit the eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. God. The communion hymn, I mean, I'm sorry, the closing hymn is Let There Be Peace on Earth, number 533. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. Let this be. 
be my soul. 